Even though it's called Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, I'm only here to do two things and two things only. Fight extremism and murder chickens. And I'm all out of chick- actually I'm not. These- these things are everywhere. Now before I dive too deep, I wanted to give a quick thank you to CI Games for partnering with me for this video and allowing me to play it early. So if you're interested in Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, which has a release date of April 25th, I'll leave a link down below where you can become as tactical as possible. And I don't even know where to start with you guys. There's so much that's changed since the beta, I'm not even sure where to begin. Like we've got exploding heads now, there's new characters, but some things are still the same. Like the cows? I definitely still do not trust the cows. I don't speak their language, but whatever they're yelling at me is probably derogatory and uncalled for. Yeah, well, f you guys too. And seeing as you have nearly 15 different sniper rifles to choose from now, I'll help you avoid being overwhelmed with options by cutting them into two categories that I like to call 50 cows and not 50 cows. All right, Alex, I'll take not 50 cows for 500, please. Not 50 cows, such as your standard 762 or 338 sniper rifles, not only have the advantage of being suppressed and quieter while firing. I'm playing the quiet game. But they also have way more ammunition types, my personal favorite for obvious reasons being the explosive rounds. I'm gonna be honest with you, Carl, I have not tried these out yet. I, HQ said they were explosive rounds. I really don't believe they're actually going to- <laughs> Not 50 cows even have access to luring rounds that allow you to distract an enemy into investigating an area. Perfect if you want to bait bad guys into checking out explosive barrels and doing involuntary backflips. Technology really has gone too far. Now on the flip side, we have the good old 50 cows. They may not be subtle, they may not be suppressed, but my god, they hit harder than a pillowcase of bricks being swung by Barry Bonds. Yeah, if you need an apples to apples comparison of what kind of impact force these things have, a standard sniper rifle will definitely puncture a hole in somebody's head, while a 50 cal will take that same enemy's head clean off his shoulders. It's just gone. Like, wherever it's supposed to be, it's no longer there. Not gonna lie to you, man. Getting hit with a 50 cal? Kind of a bummer. If you want to make these weapons even deadlier, you can always go with the DARPA rounds that I mentioned in the last video, and in case you didn't see that one, these special bullets ignore wind and gravity. Yeah, they essentially defy the laws of physics en route to their target with zero bullet drop or wind sway. They're so magical, I'm surprised they're not manufactured by either the Boogeyman or the Chernobyl Loch Ness Monster, who I didn't find, by the way, but I did stumble across some pretty weird looking fish. Speaking of the Boogeyman, I know I made a joke during the beta that some of these enemies you're up against look like him, but that's a real thing now. You're actually fighting this super secret underground club of the boogeyman called 23 Society. Yeah, kind of an intelligence community in joke. Crazy conspiracy theory. Anything goes wrong, an intel guy is blaming on 23 Society. Like, the boogeyman. These super soldiers are nothing short of menacing, as they sometimes require two headshots to die, depending on the weapon. They're extremely deadly, and most of all, they are outrageously fast. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy! I'm fast as fuck, boy! Oh my god, who are you? I'm you, but stronger. The hard counter to these guys is either a 50 cal, or if you can plan ahead, just frag them all before they jump out of a vehicle. They always roam around in fours and never see it coming. Shit, can I take them out? Yep. Buddy! Oh, just to briefly review all of the factions that hate you, by the way, you've now got the Separatists, the Rocky Lions, another independent criminal group, 23 Society, and the Chickens. But I think the cows are still technically an ally? No, no, they definitely still hate you. All of these groups are united by their love of extremism. I'm not gonna give you a political lesson here, but it's closely tied to radicalism, reactionism, fundamentalism, and fanaticism. And when you kick extremism into maximum overdrive, you get violent extremism, which summarized in Spanish is no bueno. And it's why you're killing so many bad guys in order to contain slash eliminate it. And as much as I wanna say I put the extreme in extremism, the word extremism only has two E's, while the word extreme has three E's. So on a scale from one to 10, one being not so extreme and 10 being extremely extreme, the word extremism is like a 6.5 or like moderately extreme. You're joined in this fight against the extremists by a handful of new characters, the two most memorable being Raquel and Lydia, AKA attractive women that enjoy crossing their arms during cutscenes. Raquel is incredibly useful, but her attire is a little questionable. Raquel, I don't think you're 
you're wearing that bulletproof vest correctly. Lydia, you used to be romantically involved with, but now she kind of just pouts all the time and loves to swear at you. Fuck you, John. She also waddles along at the speed of a morbidly obese penguin, so make sure that you're patient with her and do not, I repeat, do not throw luring rocks at her to speed her up because I tried throwing upwards of 70 of those things at her and she accidentally died. Whoops. I won't spoil anything for you, but the main missions typically involve assassinating people, <laughs> rescuing people, locate the engineers at the damn facility. Wait, wait. I think I read that wrong. Or gathering clues so you can find high priority people. Almost like you're playing CSI Chernobyl. I'm in. I'm in. Wait, analyze body? Do they really not know how this dude died? The missions are much easier if you cruise around in the best vehicle of all time called the buggy, or more specifically, the tactical buggy. Oh shit, sorry, I can't read your stop sign. Oh my god, it's a rotor feel, I can never tell. I think the transportation advantage is pretty obvious. Like, for example, here's you jumping off of a thousand foot ledge. I can see my house from here. <laughs> Medic. But here's you jumping off a thousand foot ledge in a buggy. And I gotta say, after browsing YouTube during the beta, I expected more creativity out of people when it comes to the non-linear gameplay. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to my Sniper Ghost Warrior Let's Play thing, and uh, here I can kill this guy with my suppressed AK, or, or, I can get super creative and kill him with my suppressed pistol. Whoa! Stop that! How about you use some real creativity, throw down some mines, and beta helpless enemy into imminent death with luring rocks. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go, buddy. Why not take it a step further and use a mine to not only kill somebody, but also lure more enemies into more mines that you planted on his dead body? That's creative, right? Whoa, that AK was like six inches from my face. The more creative you are and the more styles of approach you take, the more the game rewards you in three skill categories. Sniper, Ghost, and Warrior. Hey, buddy, this may be a bad time, but what's in the canister? <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> oh, actually... That, that makes sense. It should be self-explanatory, but you're rewarded with sniper skill points for sniper things. Ghost skill points for doing ghost things. Please don't stain, please don't stain. Oh, you're gonna stain, damn it. And warrior kills for doing warrior things. So I says to the guy, so I says to the guy, bada bing, bada boom. Forget about it. It may not seem like much at first, but these upgrades go a long way, especially the reloading and bolt cycling ones that give you virtual hot hands that are perfect for 50 cal quickscoping. If ultra stealth is more your thing, you can always go with a compound bow because the enemies can't be alerted by gunfire if you don't fire any guns, right? The other secondaries are also terrific, like the drum mag shoddy is scary. The semi-auto shot is scary. The pump shot is scary. If it's a shotgun, it's probably gonna be scary. Two final tips are to always run the 34 times scope and a bipod because it's a tremendous advantage, even though it may take up like two thirds of your screen and never ever let another character roast you during a cutscene under any circumstances, ever. Hands off the keyboard. Don't move, turn around. Slowly. You're not from the 23 Society. I'll be the one asking questions. Technically, that wasn't a question. Don't fuck with me. Boy! And that's about it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. An extra special thank you to CI Games for partnering up with me for this video. So if you have any kind of questions about the game, I'll leave the link down below. And be sure to tune in next time when I stop throwing rocks at Lydia. <laughs>